So let's just go ahead and go from the top, right? The force fumble. I'm in, like I said, I'm in that flow state where things are just kind of moving slow motion. They're they're backed up in their own end zone, and I'm lined up. I'm ready. I know they're running the football. I'm in my stance. I'm knees bent, ready for action. They hike that football, and I start sprinting over. Center comes up to me. Boom, strike him. Ah, shag. Put, put him on the ground. Eat dirt. I'll keep running. Oh, my gosh, it's Tony Pollard. He's a little fast, so I got to run fast to try to catch up to him. Boom. And once I got there, I it's not even a thing that you think about. It's just instinct. It's like reaction. Like, I literally went across and just, and just punched, not knowing that it was in his outside arm. I just went punched. And I go to the ground, and you can't you can't really tell it right when you punch, like if you got it out or not. You're just punching like in the hopes yeah. that it comes out, and then you kind of hear the commotion of the crowd and everybody like kind of yelling. I get up and I'm like, "Ain't no way that like that was in bounds. Even <laughs> if it did come out, there's no way that's in bounds." And then you see the replay of it bouncing off Demo's leg, hanging on the sideline, spin. It doesn't touch anybody's feet. Who's touching that about like? And then Kevin Givens running to the football, boom, jumps on it, mm-hmm. and I'm like. What a start. They were like zooming in on your face and you had the craziest look in your eyes. You were like, I was like, who are we? Everyone was like, what is going on? You were oh. like growling almost. Growling? You looked like you were just like, you were just in their mood. And I was like, never. Yeah, oh, was I on the bench or something? Mm-mm, no, it was literally right after it happened. Oh. After the commotion. And then you were just, I don't know. I think you were still in that mood. I remember they. <laughs> <laughs> what? I remember. I'm walking back because, like, literally, as soon as they called the the refs called it this way, like that, it was our ball. Yeah. I walked over to the fans. I think. And then, and, and I I just had I had my arm because like the lineman had pulled my sleeve down and I I was just flexing like this. That's and what it was. That's think, what it was. I think so. Yeah. Really. I think so. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just flexing and everybody obviously jumping on top of me, hitting me, boom, 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 and then I'm walking back and I noticed the camera was on me and mm-hmm. I took my helmet off and I'm like. That's a bad boy. <laughs> you were really doing a lot. Yeah, I was. I'll feel myself. Good. That's good. And um, man, what a moment. Johnny Holland, my linebacker coach, we get off to the sideline and he's like just beside himself. Just boy, I that's know. a that's a big play right there. Boy, like he, <laughs> yeah, I know. He like, exactly. oh my god. I can really hear him saying that. He was so happy for me. So mm-hmm. happy for me. And so to keep to keep going off of this. Once you make a play like that early in the game, now you literally are like in the zone. Like it, you all of a sudden, it, it literally feels like time has slowed down, and you are you're able to just like react at so much of at a quicker pace. And to say, I mean, I'm not gonna say I had a perfect game, not at all. Like there were some plays I for sure want back out there, but you know, like then, what? Which play? Uh, you know, there was a third down play. I'm I'm in man coverage, and my eyes got dirty. Tied in, got outside of me, and uh, got a first down. Mm. Play I want back. Okay. But uh, there was another third down in that, I think, the second quarter where perfect example of, like, time slowing down, they're backed up in their in their own end zone because Christian had yeah. – they just ripped the ball from Christian. Yep. It was literally, like, right after that, that play that I had. They're backed up, third and short. We were and trying to get the safety, but it didn't happen. We were right. trying to get a safety and it didn't happen. They were kind of like, they were out of their end zone a little bit. It was like on the 10 yard line or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was third and short. And uh, they tried to motion, real, they tried to motion CD to kind of see, all right, it is a man zone read. Me and Dre swap sides. And I knew that they either, they love slants and they love crossing routes to try to, when, when we're in man coverage, if they, if they identify that we're in man coverage, mm-hmm. they want our guys to run into each other as their guys are kind of crossing oh. to kind of to knock them off. And so in that specific play, I was the whole player, the plug player in the middle where I don't have man on anybody. I'm just reading Dak. Mm-hmm. And they're saying, Fred, if Dak escapes, you got to get him. And I'm like, all right. And so I'm popping and I'm kind of looking in my peripheral to see if they're crossing. I, I see CD coming across and the tight end. And so I literally just had to try to jump in front of both of them to knock them off just to make sure that they didn't rub the, the guys that were covering mm-hmm. So, boom, when I knock him off, that knocks their timing off of the play. Dak's like – Dak has a pump it. Oh, he, he escapes out. And then it's just perfect little lane for me to just run up in right and through there and <laughs> – Sacaroni. That was great. Sacaroni. You know, I had to wrangle him down. Big old Dak. Wrangle <laughs> ring him to the ground. J.K., my boy, Javon Kinlay, came over, tried to get a little punch on the ball mm-hmm. and help bring him down. And, uh, again, just – 
in that JK mode. JK was in there too. Ooh, I'm surprised Doc didn't get hurt. In that mode. Mm-hmm. Like, mm, mm, mm. And then on, on the Jumbotron, like, they do a little, like, WB thing, like the Warner Brothers Oh, thing. I love when they do that with the sound, the little bells. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, okay, ooh, it is. So every time they do that, I'm like, I, it's like, because <clears throat> our last name's Warner, so they'll do the Warner Brothers uh, little logo, mm-hmm. and they'll do Fred Warner, and the whatever that little jingle is jingle, that yeah. plays with the Warner Brothers, mm-hmm. it, they play it. It's so it's, cool. It's like, I don't is it the Warner Brothers jingle, or is it like the, it's like a Superman jingle? Like whatever that like the little Superman sound is, I feel uh, like I don't know. Is it something about it? I don't know. I think I, whenever um Warner Brothers movies comes on, mm. it plays that. That's the sound that my brain thinks of, Got but it. I don't know. Yeah. But it's cool either way. It's such a cool little graphic they do. So dope um, to have your own graphic is like what? Are you yeah. Kidding me? Okay, so then after that. What was the next thing you did? <laughs> <laughs> Just going down the list. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the whole rest of that game, like the whole defense domination, uh, guys making plays left to right. Dre gets a sack. Uh, Gip gets an interception down the field. And guys are making plays, boom. And then I think it was right before the fourth quarter or right at the beginning of the fourth quarter, we're out there first down. Uh, I'm in I'm – in, I'm in coverage and I see CD kind of run an over route behind me and I flip my I flip my hips and Dak threw it. He tried to throw the CD and I got my hand out and I almost got my hand When on he the, ran on out of bounds? No, no, no. Oh, he no. ran over the middle and I kind of had to dive to try to get the ball oh, and it went and it through missed. his hands. Missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm on the ground like shaking my head like, oh boy, you yeah, was close. Yeah, and that's when I told you. I was like, something's about to happen. Something about to happen. I felt it because I watched that. I was like staring at it. I was like, okay, whatever. Like I was, mm-hmm. I was like, whatever. It wasn't mm-hmm. meant to happen. It wasn't meant to happen. The next play. The very next play, we dial up a pressure. And I got I to gotta hold in the line of scrimmage to try to pull the protection to me to then open up the blitzer on the opposite side. But then I have uh, coverage on uh, one of the offensive players to the left side. So I'm sprinting over like, oh, my goodness. And then I see CD kind of come underneath. I'm like, oh, I, I got to flip around. So as soon as I'm flipping around, I see Dag already threw the ball. And so I'm running over to where he threw the ball. Demo deflects the pass. And when you talk about just a perfect little <laughs> – little basket of love (laughs) like that ball couldn't have come like just floated out of at a a softer perfect little spiral right at me and I literally just had to kind of just guide it in my hands like don't mess this up (laughs) we catch it running running with that thing with one hand like yeah with one hand, I, I my juke moves need a little work. You know what I'm saying? I might I should have probably redirected around the field, but that's okay. It's okay. I was just happy that I got the interception. And at that point, I'm like, oh my goodness, boy, like this is unreal. Like I literally I went to the I ran to the end zone, I went to my knees, and I was like overwhelmed with just gratitude in that very moment. Cause I'm like, this is unreal. Like you gotta understand the the gravity of a game like that. Like Sunday night football, Niners Cowboys. And this is what's happening. A week ago today, you sat here and you said, "Game, like, what did you say? You said one game will change your whole one life." One game. Remember when you said that? I'll say it. Crazy. One game could change your life. Mm-hmm. I'll always say it, like, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't even. Matter. It, it didn't even have to be me. It could have been anybody. Like, if you just, if you all of a sudden <clears throat> had the game of your life with the whole country watching, like you now, now you a household name. Yeah. And it's not like I needed that, you know, for any type of validation or no, recognition. You like, it. you know what I'm saying? Like, I I wanted that for obviously one, the win. Like, I <laughs> like, I mean, more than anything, it's it was going to be our toughest matchup yet this season. But you know, I wanted I wanted to show my dominance and our defense's dominance over their defense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was talking all week about how great their defense is, and they do got a great defense. I man, I say I tip my hat to them. Like, they got a great defense. But man, we we damn good. Like we, like we damn good. We ain't even like where we're supposed to be at. But you know, we just gotta keep chugging along, keep pushing, and like, and that's those are the type of moments right there where you need your big time players to make big time plays. You did your job, Warner. And I'm man, I'm extremely blessed and grateful for that moment mm-hmm. because that I mean, you remember those moments forever. I know. So, like, you had all these great, ex- like, memories from last year's playoff game with 
Dallas because you had a great interception there. And mm-hmm. then now, mm-hmm. if we play, will we play them again this year? Like, is there, not, is there a way there's that a, could there's, happen? There's a way. Okay, so whatever. If that happens, next time we play them, either this year or next year, you'll remember. Just something about Dallas. Mm-hmm. I grew up, unfortunately, I hate to say this, I grew up a Cowboys fan. Yeah. And so, I mean, ever since they didn't draft me, I'm like, hey, y'all had your op. Mm-hmm. And now you got to see me. Be sure to subscribe anywhere you get your podcasts and to the Warner House on YouTube.